Beardos Weirdos Boils and Ghouls. Hi. One of the channels that I get asked a lot about is uh, about to be featured on the channel in this very video. And before we get to the video, fairness. Now, I get asked to watch certain channels quite a lot. And the reason that I tend to stay away from those channels is drama. I'm not saying the channels are full of drama. I'm saying that people are asking me to look for drama reasons. You need to watch this channel and they know full well that there's going to be a back and forth and etc but some of these channels have noticed that my in my live streams that i'm being asked to look at them and some people have you know posted on social medias you know fuck this beardo guy and all the rest of it this channel hasn't and some of the people he associates with haven't they've emailed me and basically an open conversation they have been respectful they have been polite they have told me to do what i want to do and have at it but just let them know. And that's exactly what I've done. Before I've pressed record, I have emailed this channel and said, okay, I'm looking at this chat, this video. And there's a reason I'm looking at this video. He has gone to, this channel has gone, right, it's Moxley. Moxley's Paranormal World. And he has gone to the haunted house. I mean, we're all dubbing it the UK's most haunted house because we're all having activity in this place. If you're looking at this from a point of view of, are we going to see shit flying around? Are we going to see shadow figures peeking corners and demons screaming and Ouija boards and blood dripping down the walls and hellfire and brimstone and I've gone over the top again? No, it's far more subdued than that. More like real hauntings where it, uh, it feels like there's an energy, where it feels like something is building up, where there's seemingly taps on response and things leading you around the house. It's an incredible place. And sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to go in there anymore because rumour is it's been sold. There's work definitely being done there. So it's only a matter of time before they realise that people have been investigating there when it was abandoned and they're going to lock it up. Uh, this place, it says something where channels that I believe in, channels that I interact with, channels that I've gone on investigations with are going to this location multiple times because they need answers. If I could, I would definitely go back there. I'm I'm tempted once this place is lived in and all the rest of it to contact the owners in like six months' time and be like, you ever had anything weird happen in this house? Because rumour is it's haunted. And see what they say. And then they'll probably be like, have you been in my house? Well, no, it's another big fat bearded guy. I do not want hate going to Moxley's channel. Moxley probably doesn't want hate coming over to me. This isn't a critique or a debunking video of moxley the man this is a reaction or critique or debunking video depending on what's in there to moxley's paranormal world the channel it is footage that i am looking at not the man behind it so let's try and keep it nice even if you don't agree with my findings it doesn't mean that you're right and it doesn't mean that i'm right it could just be opinion conjecture all the rest of it Unless I see something I'm like that is 100% bullshit, that is a mask, that is something, a mask slip. You know what I mean, we've been there before. So he's shown me respect, I've shown him respect. Let's all do the same in the comments, no matter which side of the fence you sit on. Is somebody coming, or is it actually paranormal? Do you like Satan? Do you like Satan? Look at this. I'm not going to shit talk an app. Loads of people use them. I personally don't use any of the apps. That looks like spirit talk. Some of these apps are really easy to manipulate. That's not being manipulated, it's laying down. But I can see a bit of an issue with this. And already, we I mean, we're 10 seconds in, and this could be a genuine mistake. That mobile phone is unlocked with an application running that is going to speak. That EMF, that EMF, they are going to trigger just before that app speaks. Because when that app deep word bank throws out a word the mobile phone kicks into gear of electronic signal to push the voice out to pick a word from the word bank those emfs are so close it'll pick up i'm not saying that he doesn't know what he's doing i'm not saying that he knows what he's doing and that's why it's there maybe he doesn't just my opinion you could put these emfs on this is that a rem pod i've been the cap all mate been it um, mobile phones don't really, in my experience, set off REM pods. But this mobile phone should be, you know, this side of the building behind them. 
but maybe they've or on the floor over here so you can see that the phone is open and over there maybe they put it in shot so we can't question it but it's too close to those electrical devices because emf detector it detects electrical magnetic field and that phone will throw off an emf the second it does anything and if you have an emf meter and if you want to know what the hell i'm talking about Hold your EMF meter up and then unlock your phone in airplane mode and watch that bad boy light up. Did you see it? Did you no. see it with your eyes? Did I you felt it. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. Did you see it with your eyes? <laughs> No, I'm sorry with my ears. I'm sorry. I'm just joking. I'm a funny guy. And before anyone says, see, he's being horrible. If somebody had said that in a room with me, I'd have had the exact same reaction. Did you see that? What else are you going to see it with? And at the same point, I would probably say something like that because, you know, there's a, a bit of fear, adrenaline, all the rest of it. And then I'd laugh at myself. So don't take, don't take me laughing at things people say as me being horrible. Sometimes things are just fucking funny. And I'll bet they laughed at it. Mean Maris Paranormal. Right, the other channel is Morris Paranormal, the guy that asked did he see with his eyes. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it is funny. Okay, so I'm not going to have shown all of his intro. I don't know if the music is copywritten or anything like that. But he does like a little clip selection at the beginning that you've just seen me talk about with the EMF placement, etc. Then he does this cool little thing where he's recording the motorway. And some country lanes and the driveway to the, the property. It was like um, a count-up timer of how long it's taken him to get there. It was just a cool little thing that I noticed that I've never done. And you go to all these beautiful places and never record it. I mean, motorways are not beautiful to look at. They're horrible. But it was just something a little different, and it stood out to me. And even though I can't play it because of copyright music, I think, it's still worth mentioning. Because despite what people tell you, I'm not an asshole all the time. Come out to check out this old farmhouse, an old Victorian farmhouse. We have heard a lot of reports of paranormal. That's been moved. You see this doorway in the background? This pram was in through that doorway, tucked in a corner. And in my video, you will see a B roll footage of me panning past this exact pram. In fact, I mean, I was there two weeks ago. I know of another team that's been there since where this pram was out here. There's another team being there, but they were just like, this house ain't haunted, I've been here for two hours. Ridiculous. I'm not saying that Moxley has moved this, but this pram has been moved by somebody, probably just to get a good shot like this. But I'm not saying it's Moxley, because we have no proof. And they've shown us the drive up. A lot of teams show a drive up to a location, and then they're like, see, this is our first time in here. But what they could have done is gone in set up things and come back out and then gone oh look we found this prop people do it i'm not saying that's what moxie's done because a lot of teams have been in this building activity and that this place is extremely haunted so me and jay have decided to come out check it out to see who or what is haunting this place the reason i was looking a bit weird then is moxie looks really red i think that's either a color grading issue in editing or on his camera and I'm not slating him before anyone starts. Look how dog shit some of my investigations have been where I can't even focus a camera properly. He does a uh, um, cinematic walk up to the, the property and uh, across the fence. The type of stuff we all see. And it's good to see people not just straight into night vision, just stood there talking to walls. It, it's, it sets a bit of tone, atmosphere, etc. They say something about hearing a bulb. I couldn't hear it. Maybe it was before they put the cameras on. And luckily for these guys, they've turned the cameras on before they've gone into the house because a lot of us didn't and experienced things before the cameras were rolling. I can't hear whatever they've heard. I don't think they were recording when they've heard it. But he's just said, we can't, there's nobody around. There's nothing for 10, 15 mile away. The direction that this guy was in Morris is facing, looking at the house, the road that goes to the right, about a two three hundred yards up the road opposite side of the road there's another farm there whether they passed that i don't know because i came in from the bottom and it was only when i heard something and i asked exploring the entity there any other houses he was like yeah there's one literally up there this place is 
It just screams haunted, doesn't it? The place does scream haunted, and I don't know if that is because of the look of the property, because it's just a big farmhouse, or if it's because of all the experiences all the teams have been having. In I know what you're thinking. The minute we stepped inside, he's fake. Not the case, because I know two teams that have had experiences before the cameras were rolling. I've seen other teams go in and this stuff happening as soon as they go in. But I don't think any of us have seen a shadow figure. Uh oh. Okay. Everyone, get ready to shout at me, I think. Hello? He hasn't recorded himself getting in through the window, but he's claiming he has seen a shadow figure in that doorway. Does that mean he's full of the brown stuff? Not necessarily. There is something that may come into play later in this video that he may not have noticed, and he may notice later, or he may not notice, because I know other teams have been there and not seen what I saw. There is a quarry opposite one side of this house, and they have what appears to be, for all intents and purposes, some sort of lighthouse there. There is a big, bright white light that swings around. And when I was in this house, we all saw what looked like an energy ball fly up a corridor. We all saw it. And then a couple of times, the guys were like, there's a weird flash then, did you see it? There's that white light again. And I'm like, this is almost timed. So I stood in a window upstairs looking out, and then I could see this white light circling. And it wasn't constant all night. It seems to come on at certain times. And it appears there's a quarry face and then this thing above it. It looked like a lighthouse. I don't know what exactly it would be for. Now, potentially, if he says something looked like it darted past the room, it could be some sort of weird light reflection off this thing. So I was literally just climbing through the window then. And just don't be calm with me either. This door, I swear to God, babe. Somebody walked past, stopped, looked, and I thought, ah, oh. and then just kept on walking. That's, I, I weren't too sure whether to jump back out the window or go and investigate that's to see who it was. Because when we come to places, we don't know there's other people. No, that's it. It's not what I thought it was going to be. To see there is a shadow figure, gone to walk, stopped, looked, and then carried on walking is quite a bold claim. I can't disprove it because the camera wasn't looking in that direction or recording his initial reaction. But, in the interest of fairness, none of us have ever seen a shadow figure at this house. I can't shoot down his claim. He may have seen what he claims to have seen. Nobody else that I know has seen a shadow figure in this house. Right, that's the problem we said he's moved. And he's right, that is low, because <laughs> Cal from Exploring the Entity actually walked straight into her head first. <laughs> it was funny. What is that? What is that? Like a telly. I can't hear what he's hearing. Right, he said it sounds like a telly, I don't know if he means like... Static from a TV or a TV left on with voices coming out of it. And again, I can't shoot this down because there are things I heard in this house that my camera didn't pick up. None of it sounded like full-blown conversations from a TV. Hmm. Strange. That's when you just say hello. I don't know. Like a bunch of Mate, we've literally just walked through the bleeding... Well, climbed through the window. Yeah, I think like a bloke just says hello, I swear to you. His video is very quiet, and I don't know why. Okay, they've just said there's a disembodied voice. They've replayed it. I had to press my headphones in to make it out. They think it says he's watching or it's watching, but it says it in a northern accent, which these two guys have. Does that mean they staged it? Does that mean they faked it? Absolutely not. What it could mean is that one of them has mumbled to themselves, not realised, and the camera has picked it up. I have nearly thought I've caught a voice and then realised it's Dean fumbling and going, oh, for fuck's sake, with his camera. And to me, that's what that sounds like because this property is not in the north of England. It is 
not far from the Welsh border. I'm not going to say which part of Wales or whatever because I don't want to give the location away. But that to me sounded like one of them talking under their breath and not realising it. You and Jay need to go check this place out. You and Jay need to go check this place out. You and Jay need to go check this place out. Fuck off, man. Is he a woman? Right, one of them's just said I've heard a woman, and he's just said um, a disembodied voice laughing. I couldn't hear anything other than the friction of their clothes rubbing. The echo in this place is bizarre because it's so big and so empty. Sound behaves a bit weird in here. Um, and the fact that they both hear different things by the sounds of it proves that. Genuinely, I think one of them has moved or scraped their foot on the floor and it's sounded like something else. If I was to put up my video uncut, there is so much of us going, what was that? That's me. Right, it sounded like it was over there. But then there are other things where we were just like, Fuck, there's something walking about in you. Yeah, I mean, then, uh, fucking hell. When you said... I just got this pin that a woman said, yeah? Luckily, there's two channels have gone here at the same time. If I can compare Moxley to Morris. House on Haunted Hill? Morris, this isn't a house on Haunted Hill. It's not even on a hill. I mean, maybe he's just called it that to throw people off going here, because the last thing you want is people go into this type of building and trash in it. When Moxley goes into this building, Morris is actually recording. So we'll see the reaction of the, what he thinks is a shadow figure. Wallpaper, touch me on the head, I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, just wait, 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 wait. I think something's in it. Hello? All right, so um, there's nothing on camera. Moxley's reaction was it looked of a place of genuine concern, like there's somebody in here, there's somebody in here. Moxley would have done better asking this Morris guy, could he use that section of footage to show his reaction? Because from Moxley's perspective, just watching his video, you could say you lied. There's no, you didn't look scared. You were just like, I thought I saw something peek and stop and walk off and all the rest of it. Whereas this camera. It looks a little bit more like, fuck, there's somebody in here, we need to be careful. Which is, you know, how I would react. Well, I'd probably have been like, fuck, I'm not going in there. <laughs> Morris said something interesting then. And Mox was like, I've just got the location. Morris said, they said there's shadows in here. None of the teams that I have watched have caught or captured or thought they've seen a shadow figure here. So Morris seems to be aware of another team that's gone in, Mox doesn't. I'm sure they would have had a conversation about what, people have experienced in this house on the way there. I just got a random message saying, Mox, you and Jay need to go check this place out. Fuck off. Mate, if it was a woman behind me, then I fucking hurt. When you said, I just got this pin, and a woman said, yeah, behind me. Right, so we've looked at Morris's footage. Morris's footage doesn't pick up anything at all other than his own movement. Moxley's the sound Moxley heard and what we've heard on Moxley's camera is this Morris guy spinning around reacting to something I can't hear. And that's not me saying it's staged or it's fake or anything like that. But sound is weird in this place. But at least we've got the two different angles to look off. And if I hadn't looked at Morris's thing, I wouldn't have seen what looked like a genuine reaction from Moxley about that shadow figure. I don't really believe in shadow figures. I don't mean you any harm. Just come out to check out your property tonight. It's like, a, it's like an old barn, isn't it? What is that? That is a my camera won't focus. This is an issue that me and Exploring the Entity had. Cameras not focusing. And we quickly realised what that was. When you have multiple cameras and they keep crossing over, you will get a lens flare off the lights, whether it's in IR, infrared, or the white torchlight basically it throws your camera off and you will struggle to focus you also get it off um light reflections off door frames all the door frame look 
this door frame there, painted white, you're going to get a right light reflection. Your camera will struggle to focus on that. When you're listening to these videos as well, you can hear the constant noise in the background of the camera, and that's the camera mechanisms itself. There's no heat to silence it. I bought an external mic, and it's made it sound even worse for me. Okay, so I've, I'll have cut a bit out because it's just... It's not the noises I've heard in this house, but they're hearing random little noises, and it's just the way the sound travels through this house. You've got to be very careful in this property about how sound travels, because it is weird. At the same point, the feeling in the house is weird. I'll give, I'll, you know, I have to agree with that, because I got creeped out in this place. Look at those steps off. Yeah, this is a good, good room, isn't it? Good room? Looks like they've got that Blair Witch. Somebody stood in the corner, and then they turn around and... <laughs> It's just my imagination. Hello? Oh, there's a lot of claims in this video of... I can hear that. There's footsteps. There's it. And I can't hear it. At the same point, there were moments where I heard things in this house that my camera didn't pick up. And I know there are other teams have had the same thing. These bottles? Soda solution. You heard that noise then? The blip, blip, blip. Blip. For some reason, Morris has turned his camera off a couple of seconds and then turned it back on. Something. I'm being... I'm being psychic again. Something is about to move or be thrown. And the reason I think that is when somebody turns their camera off for no good reason, it is normally because they're doing something they don't want to be seen. And I'll just use my old camera as a thing here. If, for example, and I hope I'm wrong, if, for example, you're filming and you spot something that you want to throw, you do this. Or at least this. You move this arm, and this one tends to follow. So what a better way to make sure that doesn't happen is to stop your video, then pick up whatever, then press record while trying to hold your camera in a similar area. And I'll guarantee you that some, when it, whatever this is happens, and I check Morris's footage, there will be a cut. Or he's accidentally pressed a button, and not realised, and then pressed. You heard the noise, and then clicked it back on. But there was a couple of seconds delay. If nothing gets thrown, then clearly he's just pressed a button. If something happens here, you know, quite something quite profound, you've got to question why that camera turned off and back on. Hospital Street. I've got a date on it. No, no date on it. Have you got? I'll do the pictures. What the? Mate. Did you get that? I got that Please tell me you got that. I, I seen it with my eyes, but I didn't I catch. Watched, mate, I watched it. I fucking watched it come from the top of this, the top of the stairs. What was it? What was it? Fucking egg on shell or something. Was it that? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Right, that actually did look like an acorn shell. The issue I have now is Morris has stood over there. The light isn't great. How did he know that was an acorn shell without actually seeing it? Because he, they both see what was it, where is it. The other questionable thing here is, they both said they've seen it with their eyes. Because what else are you gonna see it with? I'm joking. They both said they've seen it. Yet both of them, it looked like had their backs to it. The the footage will show us. I seen it. Holy, that come down the stairs, mate. I watched it, mate. Who's here? There's got to be someone here, mate. Oh, it's you with that. Yeah, sorry, I thought I might find dead bodies. Thought you were finding dead bodies? What the fuck? Comes from the top of the stairs. Hey, maybe they've got... Right, I need to go a little bit earlier than that. I need to see what, what causes this camera to pause it, if I can. What's that tapping? Right, there's the cut. That's where the camera's powered off and back on. Weirdly, before that camera powers off, you hear his arm move up. He's turned that off, and I don't know... Well, I think I know why it's going to be whatever comes down the stairs. Unless, of course, they do have it on camera, like he's just said. I saw it. 
and then I'm completely wrong and he's just accidentally done something. Hospital Street. I've got a date on it. No, no date on it. Have you got some pictures? Your box. What the? Mate. Did you get that? Fucking got that, mate. Please tell me you got that. Got that. You didn't get that. His footage is so crisp when he's not swinging the camera to a noise, that we should be able to see this bouncing down the stairs at some point. Right, he's got this in slow motion. I what, mate? I watched it. I fucking watched it come from the top of this, the top of the stairs. What was it? What was it? A fucking air gun shell or something. Oh, right, you can see it. Right, fair enough. Yeah, that was it. That's yeah. the sound. I seen it. Holy heck! Come what is throwing me off is they've both said they've seen it. Right, if I slow down his slow mo, I'll turn the sound off because it's going to sound awful. We should be able to see this at least bounce off a step somewhere. Right, this camera's out of focus, but there is nothing moving on these stairs. Right, if you're listening to this with your headset on, it's coming through your left headphone, which means it's coming from almost behind Morris. That sound doesn't sound to me like it's come down the stairs. I see it with my eyes, but I think I watched, mate. I watched it. I fucking watched it come from the top of this, the top of the stairs. What was it? What was it? Fucking egg on shell or something. And there's somebody very real, somebody in this building, in my opinion, has thrown that. Because they they both say they saw it come down the stairs. They both had their backs to the stairs, spun round quick, and that acorn shell is not in shot at any point on any camera. And you'll have seen me slow mo in and looking and slowing down the slow mo. But I have looked far more times than you'll see because it's boring. At no point can I see that acorn shell bouncing down the stairs. The weird camera pause just before it sets alarm bells ringing. Can I prove that that was fake? No, but. Logically, he goes through an acorn down the stairs, but we can't see it for some reason. Or this Morris guy has paused his camera to pick it up or to, because he's found it and doesn't want the jerky camera movement. Now, to me, that sound on the headset doesn't come from the stairs. It sounds like it's come from it's coming this way of him, which would mean while his back is turned, he's just done that or under underarm thrown it behind him and it's landed at the bottom of the stairs from towards that basement. I can't prove it because none of them have it on camera, but look at the shot and the focusing on that bottle. They spent so long on this one bottle that they haven't done on other things. A camera pauses and then starts back up. This thing bounces. They claim down the stairs. They claim they've both seen it while the backs are to it, and the camera footage on both channels doesn't show that thing in shot moving at any point, even in slow motion. I'm not going to be like, 
hey, you threw that and I know it. Well, yeah, somebody of one of these pair threw that. And if I had to hazard a guess, it would be the guy that, for some bizarre reason, turned his camera on and off. You hear them? You heard that then? That yeah. woman, mate, here in the fucking basement. She just said something. She went, I might be doing my impression, but she went something like, Please. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can tell you, mate. She just went, Please. I'm almost glad Moxie had the same reaction as me. <laughs> He mocks his reaction, was like, what the fuck? And then laugh. And just to doubly check, let's see if we hear the leave on uh, Morris's camera. You, you heard that then? That was a woman, mate. Here, in the... Let's be rational from the start of this. What the hell was that? There's no way somebody could have flung that down there. I watched it bounce off the top step. Get away before we can even see. Did. You heard that then? That was a woman, mate. Here, in the fucking basement. She just... Right, he had his camera pointing directly down that basement and it picked nothing up. That I find a little bit harder to believe. Now, Mox may have heard something and then this guy has just reacted and his imagination has taken over. But he has just claimed he watched that bounce off the top step. He, he couldn't have. His back was to it. We have seen his footage. His back was turned till the second or third bounce. So he didn't see it hit the top step. So his claim doesn't match his footage. So while I'm not going to sit here and say he's full of shit, his footage says different to what he is telling us with his own voice. So, I mean, they have pretty much both said that they, they saw it and they didn't. The cameras didn't pick it up and they were looking where their cameras were when that initial thing bounced a couple of times their backs were to it you know, it is my opinion that that thing was thrown by one of these two and that is purely based off their reactions after of we saw it i hope we captured that on camera the cameras would have captured that thing bouncing down the stairs the sound was in the wrong place the backs are to it everything i've just listed that to me in my opinion is staged is fake whether both of them know i don't know but this morris guy has claimed this morris guy has claimed he saw it hit the top step he did not his back was to it i haven't got anything mate i feel static like that, mate, mate. we haven't even started doing anything yet we just did a walk around come on mate i heard that then there was a little rustle i didn't hear talking somebody's here Right, so just then, you hear them see, I can hear talking, and we can't hear anything. Moxley is walking into a different room. Morris is way back, and you hear him mumble something. And you can hear it quite clearly, so why can't we hear whatever they're hearing? Again, I'm not saying that's fake. They could be misinterpreting sounds. But I can't hear whatever they're misinterpreting. Not at all. What do you want and then weird chatter? What that noise is, is Morris behind Moxley. Go he says something along the lines of Mox, which is the first word. This weird chatter is actually the sound of the door opening. They've misinterpreted their own sounds there. That door opening is what they're thinking is the weird chatter. I can hear that myself. You hear a man? I'm banging that. I heard a man. And it was you. And I heard banging, and it was the door. And you opened the door, you had a man go, and then they had the bang upstairs. What the fuck is going on, mate? He's in there. Did what I just See? Know. As he closed the door, you hear, uh, it's the same sound in reverse because he's closing the door. They've misinterpreted the sound. I'm not saying it's them acting up. They've misinterpreted the sound. It's quite easy to do when you're in a place and you're spooked out and the like. Oh, it's that. Watch this, watch this when I open this door again. 
There's fingerprints on the door. What the hell? <laughs> there are fingerprints on that door, and they are quite possibly, probably mine because I did the exact same shot as you. And I put my hand on that door frame to look in because I thought it was going to be another room when I was in. I didn't have a torchlight on. I was in the dark looking through night vision on a three inch screen. And I thought I was going to be walking into a little room and obviously not. And I leaned on that frame. The same as a lot of investigators would have. So you can't really claim that as supernatural. Come on. Help me. Don't know why I've done that, but. I don't know why you did that, but I'm glad you said it. Because otherwise I'd get told off a mocking. It is creepy. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Hmm. All right. I understand you would turn, see your reflection, and shit your pants when you think there's nobody else there and you see somebody stood there. That's not why. Hmm. For. Oh, there it says you something. That's an E on the end. This up here has been cleaned. And up here, you can watch it in one of the other channels that's gone there. They write their channel name. And they write a little message in the dust. And somebody has cleaned just that channel name off. And then there's this underneath it. How do I know this? Because I was there. I saw it. I saw the other channel write their name on there. And my name was around here. So somebody's gone in there, seen that other channel's name. And I'm not naming any channels at any point other than exploring the entity because I was there with them. And they have wiped those names off. Not I'm not saying Moxley has wiped those names off. But somebody has left all this and just wiped two channel names off that they possibly don't agree with. Now, I'm, I'm aware that other teams have been in and claimed there's no ghosts there. And they, I think that claim was malicious just to get under the skin of people that I know have been here and possibly myself. Because this area is cleaned, had our names on it. See, that's the petty bullshit that starts drama. Because anyone that saw a video of that channel writing their names on there is going to twig that their names are not there anymore. And they're going to be like, Mox wiped that off. Or, you know, whoever channel has been there in between has wiped that off. That's child wipe. It's pointless. But this little tiny thing can kick up drama. And there's no need for it. Whatever he's just moved it. That wasn't there when I went. I can't tell what it was. But somebody's in here moving stuff around in this house. He will. He has got a healthy feeling to it. What you were saying, eh? Yeah, I can't read physically as if somebody's on my chest. Yeah. Is there someone here with us? Can you... I spy with my little eye. A two-way radio. Why would Mox have a two-way radio? It wasn't there earlier. Now it's there. Now, it could just be that... While he's exploring downstairs, he's put his backpack down somewhere and the radio's attached to the backpack strap, which is what it looks like. But I don't understand. This property is a large house, but it's not a rabbit warren. It's not like um, a grand mansion where you could get lost or something like that. You can hear the sound all around the house from a room. So why would they have two-way radios? Now, unless what I fear happens, the only reason for this would be to trigger a REM pod. Now, if a REM pod doesn't get triggered, then I don't understand why these are here. It's not that big a house. You're not going to need a radio to call your mate and say, I'm in the shit. And the fact that it's disappearing and appearing is a bit... Mm. Hopefully, a REM pod doesn't go off, and then it's just weird that he would leave it lying about when, if they need it for, you know, hey, I've slipped, I've tripped, hey, there's somebody outside and you better get down here. But they could just... Yo, there's somebody outside, get down. Can you copy me? I hear the dark. What is that? I didn't hear anything. I thought maybe that's what you just whistled. I can't. I yeah, I could have swore somebody just like footsteps as well. Like that. Oh, there's plenty. I'm hearing them for sure. Mate. Right, this window here is where I saw that beacon or lighthouse effect from the quarry. It is this window. I wonder if they get any sort of light flashes or something. And I wonder if they work it out for themselves where it's coming from. It's going into the clouds. Yeah. 
mate, I just saw, oh. mate, I just saw, mate, I fucking saw it like a big ball of light come through the room. I saw it, a big ball of light come through the room, mate. It was a massive ball of light, went zoom straight through the room. And he's not lying. I've experienced that. I just said about the window this side that I saw a light on a from a lighthouse coming through, and he's in the window next to it. I don't doubt he saw that. And we didn't see it the first time in a window. We saw it run across a wall in the hallway. And it's obviously where this light is passing the window, reflecting off the light and then door frames and whatever else. So he, they're not faking that. That I genuinely saw. But it took me a while to work it out because it, the third time it happened, I was like, that's timed. That's got to be something man-made. And then, yeah, it was this lighthouse thing. And it doesn't go all night, as I said earlier. It reflected off the glass. There's a window there, but... Oh, bear in mind, mate, we are anywhere near the road. No, it's, no, we're not, we're not. Right, no cars behind us, mate. That, that was a massive ball of light that boosh straight through this room. I saw that ball of light. It didn't go boosh for me, but I, I get what he's saying, and it's something very natural that they haven't realised. That's fair enough. Massive big ball of light. light. And somebody said to me, how can a ghost or somebody who's passed over still be on the planet if we're moving that fast. Well, my Same theory, reason we all this are. is what I've come up with. What? Attachments. That's the cars. You know what it I mean? Keeps them realms, it like. keeps them in the realm and it keeps them here yeah, it as long as that's here. And that's where like your haunted dolls, your haunted <laughs> items, stuff like that come from. That box. Do not say there is a haunted tea trolley, please, Mox. Ball of light? Could that be something that's attached I to this? Awesome. <laughs> oh, <fucking laughs> I get the method of what he's saying. It's attached, <laughs> attached to the house, yes. Attached to a loved object. Does anyone love a tea trolley enough to be attached to it in the afterlife? I get what he's saying. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's just uh <laughs> maybe it's the maybe it's the ghost of a teammate. I'm not being horrible. It's just that's amusing. I get the I get the attachment and you know, how can a ghost exist if we travel in so fast? Well we exist and we travel in that fast. It's an attack I get it. I get the attachment he's given. It's just made me laugh that it's been levelled at a tea tree. But then, you know, the same people could that people can laugh at the thought of a haunted doll or, you know, a haunted Raggedy Ann doll. Like, yeah, I've seen objects. You can tell that the difference. The of There's a difference between orbs and, um, orbs and dust. No, and I bugs did. and bugs. But I said to you, those doors, there are like, different. Yeah, you went past two windows, two windows, mate. You went past the those windows, I saw it upstairs here. Yeah. It's a big ball of energy. It really is a massive, big, white ball of energy. It's cold in there, you know. And again, what he's describing, that's a debunk. That is 100% debunked, but it's not anything fake. It's debunked because there is a lighthouse. T Even though this place is landlocked, you know, it's in the middle of um, farmland. It looks like a lighthouse on a quarry. I don't know what it's for, but that light has produced exactly what he's describing. Right, so we're just setting up. Look at the K2. It literally just started going off. Right, the K2 has just started going off, and I alluded to this at the beginning of the video. That K2, that K2 are way too close to that mobile phone. That mobile phone is open, unlocked, and the spirit... I think that's Spirit Talker. There's the skull there, Spirit Talker, I believe is called. That phone is too close to these. These are going to spike just before that speaks because they scan and detect electrical pulse. <coughs> your phone, even in airplane mode, you got your phone there, and you got your key to there, and you unlock your phone screen, even in airplane mode, it will trigger your EMF. And I have seen teams doing this, where they get really close, and they're fumbling about in their pocket. That's them unlocking their phone to get K2 activity. That's not what he's done. He has just, for some bizarre reason, placed that phone far too close to these K2s. That is well within the distance. And I'll guarantee you, a voice will... These will light up, and then this thing will speak. Suspect. Suspect. Them K2s, though, then, went mad both at the same time. They did. 
Those K2s just went mad at the same time, yet there was a weird cut and a the static line as that Spirit Talker app spoke. Them K2s, though, then went mad both of them at the same time. They did. But there none of you were looking at the K2s. There you go again. Suspect. I said suspect then. Secret suspect. Suspect. Secret. Relationship. Relationship. Baron. Baron. Oh, it's about to speak. Look at this. Torment of the soul. Torment of the soul. And that's what is causing these. The mobile phone will start to pulse with energy when it's searching for a word from the word bank to throw out. The MFs will start to trigger. By the time that voice starts to leave the phone, the mechanism or the electronics inside the phone are already starting to switch off, and that's why it is dipped out. What was that? Fucking hell, mate. Oh, mate. Is that a rat? Did you see it? Did you no. see it with your eyes? Did I you felt see it. it. Mate, it was a black shadow. It ate you like a fucking moon. No, mate, I'm going to... Oh, mate, I swear mate. to you. Did you see it? Did you... Oh, mate. It's not a rat. It can't, couldn't have been a rat. No, it wasn't a rat. It was a black shadow. It ate your leg and then fucking... It went through your legs and went round your legs. I swear to you, mate. Right, he saw it, so it should be on his camera. Oh, Moxley. My God, look at this. Look at this. Torment, this. Of Torment of the soul. Torment of the soul. Now they should as paranormal investigators realise that phone is what's setting those off. It's far too close. What was that? <coughs> Fucking hell mate. Oh mate. Is oh, that that? Did you see it? Did you no. see Right at this moment, both me and Moxie saw a really dark mass move between his feet. We both thought this was a wrap, but there was nothing there. I can't explain this. It's not on any camera, so I can't debunk it, I can't disprove it. Look, look, look. Mate, I'm getting the worst feeling just looking down there. Well, when I have my back to it, shall I say? I must have that on camera. I watched the black shadow go through your legs and you went, I, I felt, felt it. it, I felt it. I thought it was a freaking rat. <laughs> it's good, me, because I thought it was a rat. Oh, like a cat. I thought it was a rat. I said, generally thought it was a rat. I went, oh, fuck it, like, fuck me, but yeah, I felt it like going right between my legs. But then I still looking for it again. It wasn't there. But you felt it as I, as I, as I, as I think it then. Is that you? Um, you just show us the soul. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's that. Terrible. You get in touch, do you? Mate, honest to God, that felt like just a little bit of a poke. Doing your muscle spasms, yeah, that's yeah. what it felt like. Right. This is starting to make a little bit of sense. He just said it felt like a muscle spasm. Potentially to me, the first one was a muscle spasm, not a poke. And then Morris has overreacted, has reacted to Mox jumping. And then corner of the eye, oh, it's a shadow. Or oh, he's made it up. He could have. I'm not saying he has. And Mox has just done the same thing again. But Mox jumped because the spirit talker spoke. And then he's like, I was poked. Now, it could be that he's having some sort of problem with his muscle. And that jump has triggered the muscle to, to clench again. Why Morris is seeing the shadow thing run at him and run through his legs, etc. And at first, it's like a little jump. And he was like, what was that? And then Morris says, I just saw a black shadow. And then Mox is like, I felt it run. I felt it touch me. And then him say, yeah, it touched you. And then it run through your legs. And then Moxley is like, yeah, I felt it touch me. And then go through my legs. It's like, it's almost like the Morris is describing what he's seen. And then Moxley's brain is filling in the blanks for him. Is that staged? Is that fakery? No. Is it confusion and overreacting? Yes. Can we build all your energy? Do this. Copy this. Can you do that for me? See, and now this, that little EMF trigger there, because of that REM pod, shows that these things are all too close together and they are triggering each other. The REM pods are very loud, that beeping. It is horrible noise. When they were talking earlier, the K2 on the bottom was flickering. If you shake a K2 a little bit, it'll flicker. I think their voices was triggering the one on the bottom and they haven't realised. Then the app is triggering both of them when it speaks and that REM pod making that noise and the little electrical pulse has also triggered the K2s. I'm not saying they've set this up. They have just put everything too close together. Okay, they still see that ball of light, which we know what it is. Do what we should do. Go. Move location, please. <laughs> Move location, please. Guys. I was just about to... Do what we should do. Go. Move location. Move location, please. Guys, I was just about to say, should we go upstairs? 
Look. Would you like us to go to the third floor? If you want us to go up. Predict. predict. Mate, we, we. What? I want to see. Mate, I am. This is the problem with these apps is um, they use such words that you could apply it to a lot of situations and a lot of the words in the word bank are specifically designed to interact with a paranormal investigation or a ghost hunt. There's a lot of coincidence involved with these things and I'm not... Did they kill you in this property? And as if by magic the thing says it killed me. Of course that's going to be in the word bank because you're on an investigation and people go to sites of murders and all the rest. There is no evidence whatsoever to suggest anyone has even died in this house. Specifically not killed in this house. And that would be information you could find and there's nothing on it. Because I've looked. This is how we know that this property was up for auction and has been sold and that there is work being done on there. Satan. Uh, there cool. you go. Sixteen. Sixteen. You tell me what the number sixteen means to you. See, and this is the problem. That word sixteen doesn't match up to anything that's come out of that app before. What the? What the? I didn't hear that. What the fuck was that? Even on the replay where he's put the volume up, I haven't heard that. This is crazy. Oh, mate. What? Oh, <laughs> mate. Oh, mate. What the fuck? <laughs> mate, honestly, I don't... I know exactly what that noise was. That was a dog bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> ruff, ruff. Yes, sir. <laughs> Moxley speaks dog. <laughs> Maybe it's a ghost dog. I know. I take the piss, but that was clearly a dog, a, a dog barking. There is a farm nearby. There's, they've already heard animals when they were outside. The dogs barking, and somehow they have misinterpreted that as a, a yes sir. That was a dog. Clear as day, that was a dog barking. I understand they're on edge and stuff, but in editing, you you'd know that's a dog bark. In my opinion. Oh. I just heard a woman. Was that, that, that was clear. That was. Yeah, she went something like she. Seriously, like, it was. I mean, <laughs> she, she said something like. <laughs> 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 it's a ghost of Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> I'm not being a dick for the sake of it. It is just amusing to me how people misinterpret noise. In editing, that sh At the time, when you're there, I can understand you mistaking that for a voice. But in editing, that is clearly a dog barking, and I wouldn't have put that replay with words on it. It would have been replay, this um, this was a, a dog. We thought this was a voice. It's clearly a dog. Do you take care of these people? Me? No. Yeah, so something just walked between us. That, I heard. That sounded like a crunch of a footstep directly in between them. I heard that. And that reaction from Moxley was the most genuine reaction he's had all night to anything. He stuttered. My meat. He, he tensed up. He, there was fear in his voice. He looks genuinely unnerved. That was potentially something genuinely paranormal. But because of all of this, I saw a shadow look, stop, look at me, and then walk off. And I was a woman, and it was a dog. It kind of it kind of undoes that experience that they have just had. If they'd been more careful in the editing, this would have meant more not only to them, but to the viewer as well. And I'm not being harsh. That there was a genuine reaction and genuine fear I heard in Moxley's voice from a noise that shouldn't have been there in between them. And it's kind of lost in amongst all of this emf activity that is clearly coming from a phone from the ball of light if they had debunked that ball of light themselves looked out the windows if they had realized that the mobile phone was too close to the k2s and the rem pod was setting the k2s off they've not realized that they've cheapened the experience for themselves because they may have just experienced something but they are so overreacting to things that can be explained that it's kind of ruined it for them and for me as a viewer, other people are not going to be able to see what I'm seeing. And that's fine. Enjoy what you enjoy. I do look deeper than the average consumer. 
and I don't think Moxley will think I'm being harsh with any of this. Um, if he was watching one of my videos and I've clearly gone, that's a woman's voice, and he hears a dog in his headset, he's going to laugh his ass off at me. It's just human instinct. Bang, bang, bang. Right. Right. Did you move? No. Just there where I'm pointing. It was like somebody was stood there. Then when you can just see the outs outline of the shadow. Yeah. Watching what we were doing. Point to the camera there, nothing's there. That's what I mean. I have seen shadows when I point the camera there. I don't see the sh I don't see the shadows with the camera. This is the second shadow figure that Moxley has spotted and his camera was pointing there. Nothing there. He can see it, the camera can't. You know what I'm going to say? Because there's nothing there. Now, is it corner of the eye phenomena? Possibly. Is it still that light? No, because they haven't said about the white light whooshing through the room, as they said earlier. But there's no proof that that shadow figure was there. It is probably corner of the eye phenomena. Can I say he's lying? Absolutely not. However... From the outside looking in, when you're trying to work out whether somebody is being real or not, the way he was trying to describe it, he was taking, like, pauses, like, right, so, mate, and you could interpret that as you haven't really seen anything, or for a split second in the corner of your eye, you've realised what it is, but you've said this little add-on as you as it's leaving your mouth, potentially. So don't come at me in the comments. I've not said anything mean. Like right, so just packing up here, and we heard two massive bangs. There's one, it was like dead loud. Next one, not so loud, but to the point like oh, somebody's God. coming here, somebody's in here. Is somebody coming, or is it actually paranormal? Hey. We're gonna have to walk down. Look, something just grabbed my hand right before. Yes. The radios keep appearing on the jackets and disappearing off the jackets or the the straps to the backpacks. I still see no reason for those two-way radios to be present at this property. But the key the, the REM pod hasn't triggered, so they haven't used it to trigger the REM pod. But I failed to realize why these key to well, I failed to understand why they have these two-way radios in somewhere that's not that big. If you've got I don't know, you're at Margam Castle. Quite a large, elaborate, beautiful building where you could be one end of it and the other end of it and scream as loud as you want and nobody's going to hear you because you've fallen, twisted your ankle. You're in separate teams investigating different areas of the building and you can't hear each other. Then, yes, two-way radios, I can understand the need for them. Purely from a safety aspect of, I've twisted my ankle and I'm on my own. In a house like this, I don't personally understand it. Maybe there's a reason for it for them, but for me, I I don't understand why they got these radios. Yeah, they can see it in the face and panic his foot down, but something we're grabbing at, grabbing at the door before, and then we did the equipment, all the K2s went off. Next thing, right at the fucking very end, where Moxie saw that light as well. Yeah. Something in that room for sure. You see shadow? Right, he's just described Moxley's shadow figure as Moxley seeing a light. So maybe it is that um, the lighthouse effect is caused some sort of weird shadow as Mo Moxie's attention has been drawn to a light. And as he's turned it, the light's disappeared and it looks like a shadow has sort of popped out. Maybe. Gonna... Hey, there's a bit of tension, yeah? They think that somebody might actually be in the house. There's a bit of tension. That staircase is creepy as shit. I've been places alone. This place, we can't split up. There's just something. Me! Mate! Fuck no way! No, seriously, mate. Somebody was just stood at that door. Mate, I saw it, mate. I saw it before. I told you it popped his head around the fucking corner. No, Moxley told you he saw it pop his head around the corner, walk past, stop, look at him, and then go. This Morris guy seems to be adding his own narrative, in my opinion. And there's a lit. Because. To the point we both ended up in a, a, fucking, a fighting stance, didn't we? Oh, like, we were, we're getting ready for something. We were ready to go, Luke, guys. We were ready to go, so and everything in here. 
and they have the radios in case they get into a fight. I think. That's well, that's hinting at. But when you're in a property like this, where you're this close together, what are you gonna do? Go, uh, Morris, I'm being attacked. And then Morris goes, Yeah, I know. I'm stood next to you. <laughs> I get it. You could hold that thing by the aerial and give somebody a good whack over the head with it in self-defense. Maybe that's what he means. I just, you know, I find the funny side of things. Something. Me. <laughs> Mate, it's fucking hell. Fuck. Oh, wait. Mate. No, seriously, mate. Somebody was... Right, he was looking at the door. There's nothing on camera. Um, It could still be this lighthouse thing. But this is the second time you've seen a shadow figure at this door, which means something is repeating, which is probably the light. But this is the third shadow figure they have seen in this house, and no other team has reported seeing a shadow figure in this house. Make it that way you will. Um, You know... I'm not saying he's lying, I'm not saying he's faking, but he's certainly far more jumpy than somebody that does these things week in, week out, because he posts a video every week. I would assume he would be more desensitised to it than he actually is right now. Because of somebody at the door. Wow. Because of somebody at the door. Wow. Because of somebody at the door. Wow. Because of somebody at the door. That's not a breath, that sounds like a camera lens zooming or a camera powering down it, that's something quite natural that they've mistaken there but as I said sound travels weird in this house did you, did you hear that brief then? did you hear that big breath? the key's moving there's a key opposite opposite but Is that key's a... not Visitor. moving oh, you move your camera with the light on it the shadow will look like the key's moving I guess I mean there's a lot of overreaction and I think these guys are quite seasoned. You know, they've they've been doing this a while, as far as I know. What's this key for? A lock. You're welcome. Is this where you heard that tapping? Yeah. Mate, I swear, good. that key was ever so slightly. You hear that? It's crazy. Right, there's a huge section that I'm not going to put in the video here of them with the Spirit Talker app in the attic and every word that comes out they try to relate to this investigation and not all of them do some you could see a tangibly linked but and this is not me saying these two guys are dickheads for doing it this is me saying that this is why i don't use spirit talker app i've never had a pleasant experience with it where it says anything that it throws out words that would apply to any paranormal investigation this thing is built for ghost hunters for entertainment purposes i mean i spoke to the guy in email that created this app he invited me to come out with him to do an investigation so he could show me how he works why he does it and how the app works and i was like yeah cool can i film it he said yes just don't get my face in it i'm like all right cool and then i get another email like days later i'm not doing it i'm giving up on the paranormal i've had enough of all this bullshit and drama i'm paraphrasing for something along those lines and the Spirit Talker app, remember Joe Vitali sat there. What is your name? Shaking the phone and it comes out with a name. What is your name? Shake the phone and it comes out with a different name. I'm not saying that they are shaking the phone. I'm saying that that app, specifically the Spirit Talker app, is not fit for purpose. And the creator of that app application had the, had the opportunity to have me go into how it works, why it works, why he created it, etc. with him, do an investigation with him to show it in the field, and then for some reason he bottled out. And I assume it's because there are some big, big channels that love that app, that use it all the time, and they've said to him, do not take that debunker out with you, do not have that debunker shit in this app, because it will ruin all of our footage, and he's gone, Ugh, I'm just not doing it anymore. That's just my take on that. That's nothing to do with Mox and Morris. just before we leave okay so um i watched the rest of the investigation and it's more of the same the spirit talker app the uh concentrating too much on that spirit talker app and trying to tangibly link it to anything and everything that's going on there now as a reaction did i enjoy that video it's not certainly nothing, nowhere near the worst ghost hunt video i've seen is it a paranormal investigation in my opinion no 
certain things were wrong in that video. The phone being too close to the equipment, the equipment triggering the other equipment, etc. That leads me down the road of this is a ghost hunting show, not a paranormal investigation. Um, they're trying to link absolutely every word that comes out of the Spirit Talker app to the investigation. and But that is my personal take. The big takeaway from this to me, the one thing that I think was absolutely staged was that acorn shell. Because, now, just the acorn shell falling down the stairs and not being caught on camera isn't enough to see somebody through it. But the fact that the cameras both looked at the stairs, none of them picked up any movement whatsoever, the sound came from the wrong direction, and that one of them paused their cameras just before that happened. They both focused this direction. They claim it came from behind them and they saw it hit the top step, yet we saw them both turn and that sound is behind them at that point. They did not see it. Their backs were to it for the first two drops. And that, to me, is one person in this team has thrown something and tried to get away with it because everything that they described is not what was caught on camera. That is not me being a dick. That is not me being mean. That is not me being horrible. That is me telling you what I have seen through their footage, here through their sound. And, of course, people can disagree with me. And if you're going to disagree with me, at least be polite about it. Don't start World War Three because... I've just looked at it logically. Did a ghost throw an acorn down the stairs? Or did somebody pause the camera, state that they saw it bounce down the stairs when their backs were to it? That's a fact. That happened. Um, also in there, though, there were some genuine things that unnerved them. And there was a noise in between them that I heard sounded like a foot crunch right in between them. They were both still. And Moxley's genuine reaction was fear. And I'm like, that could have been real, but because of that acorn throw at the beginning, I've already checked out of this being real, and and even unknowingly, I'm already looking like there's stuff, there's something going on here. Now, at the same point, with the way everyone has gone on, I was expecting fishing wire and doors slamming, and I was expecting something far more over the top than what I got. But in my opinion, that acorn was thrown by Morris. That's why the camera was paused, so he could pick it up, adjust it, so he could do stuff with his hands to take focus off the camera coming off, pull it out of his pocket, lob it to one side and claim he's come down the stairs. And Mox has just spun around because something's banging and gone, fucking hell, yeah, you're right. That is my opinion. The fact of that event is that acorn that they claimed they saw bounced on the stairs, they were facing the wrong direction, and when they turned, the camera at no point caught that thing in movement and i've checked both channels so to me that is staged by somebody in this group of two people but in saying all of that do i think this was a legitimate paranormal investigation no do i think this was a ghost hunt with a little bit of added sprinklings here and there absolutely and that's not the type of show that i enjoy personally i can see why other people would lap this up but in my opinion this is dramatized to a degree and that is that's just my opinion so let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below don't try to light a fire and start a war where there isn't a war it is just my opinion just my findings just my view into this channel you've all asked for me to look at it i have looked at it that is my opinion and yeah to me there was staging in that video much love to you all beardo out.